Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with TensorFlow. Our viewer, Palash, has built TensorFlow from source on Ubuntu 17.04 32-bit, but is facing an error while trying to import the library. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. The error message indicates that TensorFlow failed to load the native runtime due to a missing version of the standard C++ library. Specifically, it requires glibcxx version 3.4.21. To resolve this issue, you need to update your libfstdc++ library. You can do this by installing the latest version of the new C++ standard library. After updating, verify the installed version of libstdc++ to ensure it meets the required version. You can check this by running the command shown on the screen. If the required version is still not found, consider upgrading your Ubuntu distribution or using a different environment, such as a virtual machine or Docker, to run TensorFlow. Finally, if you continue to experience issues, refer to the TensorFlow installation guide, linked in the error message, for additional troubleshooting steps. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing the failed to load the native TensorFlow runtime error, it might be due to a compatibility issue with TensorFlow versions 1.6 and above. Downgrading to version 1.5 can resolve this. To downgrade, First, uninstall the current version, for example, version 1.8, and then install version 1.5. Additionally, it's a good idea to uninstall and reinstall the Keras library to ensure compatibility. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the error failed to load the native TensorFlow runtime, it might be due to compatibility issues. For example, on Ubuntu 18, using TensorFlow version 1.12 resolved the problem. Consider downgrading TensorFlow to find a compatible version. You can use a script to test different versions easily. Here's a quick look at the script. It uninstalls TensorFlow, installs a specified version, and tests it by running a simple TensorFlow command. You can run the script with different versions like 1.12, 1.11, and so on to see if any errors occur. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.
Ooh. 